Hey, Scott Murray here, Level 5 Tools. I want to answer a question that's popped up a few times online related to stainless steel and magnetism. Newsflash for you, stainless steel still has magnetic properties. And I'll tell you why it has magnetic properties. At Level 5 Tools, we're the only company that's taken the time to really study material composition. And we have a higher carbon content in our knives than any other knife out there. But what you're going to see is that every single stainless steel knife out there has a magnetic attraction to it. The reason we have a higher carbon content is because we're not just looking at, at corrosion resistance. Certainly we have high corrosion resistance, but the number one thing we're looking for is performance. So I want the best flexibility, elasticity, and longevity that I can get in the performance of one of our joint knives. And that's the one that people have raised some questions about. So, so just let me show you. So again, the reason you're looking at this, I want to talk about this is because I don't want people thinking, oh, because it's stainless steel, you're never going to be able to have a magnet stick to it. That's absolutely 100% false okay so here's one of our level our dewalt joint knives okay yes it's got some magnetism to it one of our welded knives okay very very high quality probably the highest quality weld it is the highest quality welded knife anywhere on earth uh it's got some magnetic property to it right again because it has some carbon content in it N stainless steel is basically 73 percent iron it's still a very high iron content and iron is what creates the magnetism what creates the Corrosion resistance, the chromium, the magnesium, and things of that nature that are also in the material in different percentages, and also lower carbon. Lower carbon, though, means a softer material. When it's softer, it's going to wear out faster. It might wear in quicker, but it's going to wear out faster. So you're just not going to get the same kind of longevity performance. Here's a husky knife. Okay, stainless steel, same thing. Here's a sheetrock knife. Stainless steel, still magnetic. Now you go to a trowel. This happens to be one of our level five trowels. Super high quality flex trowels is 0.5. Very, very low carbon content because of the performance we're looking for in this trowel, but still magnetic, right? Then you look at a blue steel knife. This is happened to be a, a sheetrock blue steel knife. Look at blue steel. Again, higher carbon content. These will rust if not taken care of, but it almost has the exact same magne magnetism properties as a stainless steel joint knife. This rusts quite a bit. This doesn't rust hardly at all unless under extremely severe conditions. So what you're finding is that that carbon content is critical, but you have to have other additives in here to keep it corrosion resistant. A taping knife would be very similar to a trowel because again, that blade performance is gonna be different than a joint knife. You're looking for a completely different set of performance characteristics in a taping knife than you are in a joint knife. That's why the materials are different. So again, to put this to rest, stainless steel does have a magnetic property because of carbon content. The Walton Level 5 have a carbon content that's probably about 2.2% higher than anybody else. Iron is still the majority of the, the overall composition. If you look at the carbon content, it's really less than 0.36% of the overall composition of this steel. So it's still very, very small, but it has a dramatic impact. So keep those questions coming. We love to answer questions from the finishers out there. But for the, for the one guy out there who says that stainless steel should not have any magnetic property uh, properties and that our knives are going to wear out. I've got a lifetime warranty on our stainless steel knives for you. No worries. We've got your back here at level five. Welcome to the red zone.